Have he would have said anything he, he alcohol. He would have said, "Hold the lychees, please." No drink unlocked. Episode seventy six. It's like we just did seventy five. We literally just did seventy five. That's fire, right? Try. That means we could film twice a week. <laughs> now you're doing too much. Mm, she is late. Good job, baby. She does. Apple doesn't fall this far from the tree. Good. Pretty fucking good. I don't think I want to put it down. Fun fact: Melissa has her bartending license. <laughs> um. My condolences to all the families that lost somebody on September 11th. Because today is September 11th, 9/11. Fact. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to everybody that lost their life there. I actually um was going. To, I actually went to school across the street from it. I went to leadership right across the street when that shit happened. I remember they was, like, keeping us in the buildings for a little while after the first plane hit. Nigga, niggas was walking out to school. Like, nigga, we out of here. The crazy thing is my cousin Charlie walked over the bridge, and by the time he got home, he was, like, covered in white. He was white when he got home. That shit was ridiculous. We walked. Well, we, well yeah, me and, like, two of my classmates, we walked from... Well, what was it? Wall Street? Whatever was that downtown? Mm-hmm. It was on Rector. Well, my school was on Rector Street, but that was the side block. Well, like, we walked from there to 96th Street mm-hmm. to get on the 2 train because that's where the 2 train was starting, 96th Street. So we had to walk from down there to 96th Street and Broadway. That's crazy. I wish I would have known about the butters then. I would have got a butter right there. And I think the under. butter place was closed. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, recipes to everybody nine eleven. Um, one suck. more time, happy birthday to Lee. Happy birthday, Lee, Lee, Lee. It was her birthday, birthday yesterday. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big Virgo. Hello. Never the, the little. This Saturday movie, no commercials. We outside. There may be one commercial. What? One What's commercial. The, commercial? the fight. No, that's part of the movie. That's, that's all. Part of the movie. That's all. All the. Just everything that goes along with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. The debate was yesterday, which I found weird. Why? Why would you have a debate on a Tuesday? On, and on my birthday. No. On a holiday. Like, don't they know that's a holiday? Right. right. I don't understand. Y- y'all, so fucked up, y'all fucked up real bad. Because a lot of people didn't even watch it. Because they were celebrating. Le- they, when they were enjoying that. that, that uh, Big Virgo. That paid uh, uh that paid day off. <laughs> yeah, but the debate was yesterday. I didn't see it, so I'm, maybe next week I'll come and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it next week. But I do have one thing though. That, that, a little bit of messy shit going on. A little bit. The only thing that I do remember was she had to bite her tongue because she wanted to call him an asshole or motherfucker. Fucking, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. I just. She said this. M- Man or some shit like that. <laughs> nah, but look at this though, and I'll, I'll put the picture up on the screen. They said Kamala Harris was wearing this, and she was wearing this. That's an earpiece. <gasps> it's not in her ear though. That's not her ear. They just took a picture. A of, picture. They of showed her. hers, and then they took a. They found it on the internet. That's an earpiece. Wow. So now what they saying She's is She's dumb, bitch. You got hair. Cover that right? shit. And she been wearing that shit every time she goes to speak. Wow. So now people are thinking like she got somebody in her ear telling you what to say. Wow, it's not even real. Like it's not even raw. Listen, I just feel like I don't know if it's true or not. Allegedly, they saying somebody was telling her I about mean, this shit. The way it's they, not alleged. The way they be moving, you never know. Sound it sound good to me. Leave it alone. <laughs> you said what? I said the way they be moving, like with the whole Trump in his ear shit. No, it's this bitch in her ear. I don't even understand how Trump is even running again. Well, listen, there's nobody else to run. Everything is doing. And not for nothing, it's about money. If we have money to run a campaign, we can run for president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if we had 40, 50 million dumped into a fund for us to do these fucking rallies and shit, anybody can run for president. You don't literally, I don't think, well, you know what? Let me not say you don't have to be in politics. Maybe you might have to be, I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah. But Kanye West was talking about running for president, and he's not a politician. No, but now he is. What politics is he in? <laughs> Every type of politics. Kanye. Yo, <laughs> Kanye. Y'all heard about Shannon Sharp? What about her? Him. Huh. <laughs> Who is that? Shannon Sharp. He got that podcast called Club Shay Shay. Nope. He's the black dude with the glasses. He used to be an NFL player. He's the one that had Cat First of Williams. All, what the fuck is his name again? Shannon Sharp. That's, that's you remember went, when you Cat, didn't love your baby? <laughs> remember when Cat Williams was going viral because mm-hmm. he was exposing everybody? What about him? They just tell me I'm intrigued. <laughs> Cat Williams was on on his um on his podcast going viral, and he was exposing everybody. Ray J was up there. He's the he got Do you like remember the that? no. I don't remember they, it. If you see it, you're going to see clips All I'm thinking about is, what's his name? Shannon Sharp? No. Cat right. Williams? Cat Williams talking about. <laughs> he exposed like, everybody. No, Medea, but I'm just saying, everybody. thinking about how he talks, it's like a comedy, a yeah, skit. Nah, oh. he went. <laughs> no, Cat Williams was going viral every clip. That's crazy. He was talking about how um, one time, uh, uh, I think it was, what's his name, Medea? What's his name? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry asked him to get in a dress, and he was like, the fuck out of oh, here. Oh, I remember. I think I remember. Cat Williams. Yeah. He was but it was to be every, in, in a movie. Yeah, but they said that that's like they do weird shit. When they, once they get asked you to get in a dress, they you're, said you're they don't never ask no white man to get shit. in a no dress. Yeah, they yeah, always yeah. asking black people to, to dress up like a woman. But Jamie Foxx and all these guys. Is. Does it, he does but he's himself. gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's gay. But he's not gay. Tyler yes. Perry is not gay. Tyler Perry's gay. Tyler Perry is gay. Since when? Look it up. I never knew that. That is insane. Anyway, while you're looking that up, so Shannon Sharp, his his phone accidentally went live while he was fucking oh, a bitch. Oh yeah, and he said somebody hacked his Instagram. Yeah. Bro. Uh huh. <laughs> It's okay. We all get exposed sometime. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Yes, it came out six months ago. <laughs> came out six months ago? Tyler Perry officially comes out as gay after being exposed. Who's his baby daddy? I don't know. You shitting me, right? What's wrong? On top? Nothing. What? Because this one be making fun of me. Nah, you can't see it. Nothing. You're good. Um, you good, Sway? S- yeah, but si- Tyler Perry, he is gay. That's but, crazy. I didn't know that. I was today years old when I found this out. Facts. Yeah. But Shannon Sharp, he uh, his first of all to go live. He's, he's single. You gotta you gotta go to the live. You gotta scroll to the side. Right. You gotta go live. You gotta put a title. Then you gotta press go live. How 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 was that a mistake, Shay Shay? <laughs> Mister Shay Shay. How was that a mistake? It wasn't. Wait, he was having sex with a man, you said? With a female. You fly. heard them in the with background. A woman. You didn't hear nothing. All you seen was the ceiling. You seen Or the floor, yeah. And you could hear it. I heard the audio. You heard the audio, I yeah. Really see I got that. the audio. You guys want to hear the audio? Sure. Pull up the audio. Pull it up. I <laughs> 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 heard that. It says her name. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. That's my Michelle. Michelle. That's my Michelle. Okay. That's my Michelle. Why would he say that? That's my Michelle. I don't know. He was in the moment. That's so weird. <laughs> That's cringe. First of yeah. all, I was scrolling through Instagram while I was in the car waiting for Uto to come out of school, and AJ looked at me like, what is that? <laughs> Question. What? Did, have y'all ever... <coughs> Got like secretly recorded or something? No. No? No. I feel like that's for a girl to answer. Mm-mm. No. Oh, a nigga recorded too, and they could be in a bitch pussy, and she could be recording him. How you don't see that? You mean like, oh, secretly? Yeah. So that means like what, back shots or uh, set the phone up like yeah. over there? I remember I tapped on somebody's computer, and it was porn. Porn? I on- feel like that's so like... Yeah, but it wasn't like just. I'm not gonna say no names. You're so but... rude. Go ahead. I'm sorry. This bitch. That was rude. <laughs> but when you said that, it reminded me of somebody, and it was somebody you know. Sheesh. I went in a car, and they forgot to swipe up. 
they open their phone and they phone connected to the car, and all you heard was mad, ew, porn? moaning. Was it gay porn? No, no, but oh. still, but still, come on, swipe yeah, and like, close that on, shit. But my story was, I was. <laughs> being nosy and I shouldn't have been because this is what happens when you're nosy you right. find you know you find get it. things that you look for I hate when people say that but cause like I shouldn't be I shouldn't find anything but it was it was like I wasn't in a relationship or anything okay I opened up the computer and I tapped it cause on the screen save it was my picture so I wanted to see if there was any more pictures of me I tapped it and it was a porn but he was starring in it <laughs> what <laughs> Wait, so it was like a made porn? Yes. Like a real porn or like a sex tape? A sex tape. Oh my gosh. Would you do it? Would I do a sex tape? Yeah. <clears throat> but to have it on have your screen you done one? when I was like in the room and I tapped it and it was open and I was like, <gasps> close it and I was like, yeah, it's time to go home. Have yeah. you ever done one? No. Have you ever done one? Have I? I don't know. <coughs> Have you? In your past, maybe? No? Liz is playing stupid on the podcast right now. Have you? I don't know. Let me go on my phone. I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> like what? I mean. Yes, I'm sending it to me right now, actually. I want to see. Uh, anyway. So, that... that <laughs> That's I want to know. That's a no, that's a no. I want to know. Yes or no? If I did one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not a, not a, no 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 not a not like a sex thing just like filming. Fil- yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many times? Once. Okay. You? Sips tea with Lee. <laughs> okay. Um, Same Then I didn't think it counted for me too A sex tape? Yeah Well not a sex tape I mean filming? Yeah I mean does it count when you know you're getting filmed? Yeah Yeah It wasn't it wasn't no secret Nah it was Yeah, yeah. It's not a secret Oh uh, yeah So Yeah Have you ever tried to do that With someone not knowing? No It, I never it even was tried it. with me that's weird. Yeah. That's weird. And that's what did yeah. you do? I saw the red light and I broke the camera. <gasps> oh and my I left. God, that's uh-huh. so freaky. Yeah. Like not even freaky, like in a good way. But no, like, like freaky. freaky like, you're I don't even want to do anything creep. with you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and then I didn't do anything and I had bricks thrown at my window. You can that, that was enough. Can, can we start bleeping out names if we talk about <laughs> names? I can. Would that be like a thing? Can we do that? I can. <clears throat> can you say the name? I could just say G. Oh. <laughs> mm, I don't know what that is. So we don't got to bleep that out, right? No. Okay. No. You could leave it there. Yeah, me pass the hookah for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I, honestly, I actually like when they're not bleeped. <laughs> you're, such, you're so problematic. <laughs> Me yeah, too. I, oh, I always dra- say names. Dramatic yeah, because I want you to know that you was a creep on, and on you did what you friend. did and you shouldn't be doing shit without people knowing. Fuck out of here. Uh, that's that's like a charge. You could get yeah, charged. Yeah, that's for that. a charge. You get yeah, charged for that. Yeah, like sexual. What can you call it? Revenge porn. Mm. I was. You unwillingly recorded me. Like that's insane. These are pretty Has someone good. right? Oh, There's you. another round in the cup. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Has someone ever said, like, this is probably for just females because I don't feel like a female would do this to a man. Or maybe, like, you know, have you ever sent, like, pictures? Yeah. And they'll, like, tell you, like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to. No. Jerk like, off I'm to gonna, your pictures? No. no like, I'm, I'm going to leak it. You. No. Oh. Type shit? You? No. Yeah, but I never really sent like pictures like, like I didn't like not, I cared not about super exposed like, like never coochie naked. naked I don't no, know. like never. So what you want to show my I, butt to it'll people? It'll be go like ahead. A, yeah, like a butt or a bathing suit picture. Yeah, go ahead by all I means. I never really like sending pictures no. to anyone. Naked pictures? No. no. Mm. A boob. <laughs> Me, I never. <clears throat> 
I was you ever sent pictures? No, never. Like, My ex used to younger? send pictures. Huh? Nah. Even when you were younger? Never. That like wasn't pics? a thing when you were younger. Yeah. Ew. That's My so ex cringe. used to do that. And he's mad old. Right. Ugh. And not to me either. <laughs> Wait, this is getting weird. <laughs> you caught him? Yeah. Nah, this is T. Yeah. I hope he was sending pictures to a woman. Yeah, it was a woman. Okay. It, it wasn't a woman. It was a girl. Oh. Nah, I ain't with that. I always been afraid of getting exposed. Like, Me send it to the wrong person and they put it on the internet. Yeah. So yeah, I never did that. That's that the first time I ever heard him like a man say that. Say yeah. no, I never did. I'm afraid of getting exposed. Because men are very, very, like, not aware of shit like that. Like, I don't give a fuck. She leaks it or whatever. But I feel like he's just probably, like, different. You know, men are just, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know now a lot of men that, that'll be like, no, I'm not sending you a dick pic. You want to see my dick? Come and see it. Right. <laughs> right. See it in real if life. If I want yeah. you to see it, then. And you're not taking a picture of it, it in, either unless it's in your mouth. See it in 3D. Yep. <laughs> Right? We heard see, you. Come see it in 3D. We heard, we heard you. I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> for all the men out there, like, <laughs> we're not sending dick. First of all, for 2025, let's stop sending dick pics. That shit That's is true. corny. That is corny. Because so niggas think girls like that. Girls do Don't not like, like that. Yeah, like, bro. First Women of all, you're going in the group like chat. Women do not like that. You're going in the you're group going chat. You're going in the group chat. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Sure and you know what? To spice it up, I'm going to put the, the little blur shit over it that you got to double tap it so it opens up. Or you got to do like this. Gotta, <laughs> how do you do that? You don't know how to do it? No. You have I'll show to, you right now. You know the send? <clears throat> when you send something, you don't press send. You you hold, hold it, it. And you swipe up. And it gives you like so, slams. Um, look. Um, like type something. Hold it. Swipe and up, it'll show and it'll all of that. I know all that. Which one and, is it? Invisible. Yeah. Oh, shit. See? <laughs> invisible. <laughs> the other ones is this. You've seen that before? Never. This. Yes, I sent, I sent you of invisible something. No, yeah, but I didn't know how to do it. See? Oh, God. Yeah, but I didn't never knew how never. to do it. Oh. Um, so, yeah. It's so cute. That's, that's cringe. <laughs> that's like... That's the next level sneaky shit. Like, that is oh, sneaky. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Shannon Sharp got caught, and they said that, Michelle. Nah, they said that he was on some. They said that he was on some gay shit, so they feel like he did that on purpose. And, and you then know, try to lie about it. And then you can't even if he was in he a relationship. Faked it. And it, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, it was accidentally recorded, and that wasn't his lady. That was that your was, lady knows your voice, bitch. <laughs> and let's say that that was a co-worker or one of the producers Ooh, on the show or something Michelle. that they know that they always had an idea like I think Shannon I think and Michelle have got something yeah and then boom boom yeah my Michelle you know who did that who redid it who Chicle and Marlene I love them they did what they redid it the supposed <laughs> Shannon Sharp shit yeah or today they did yeah. it yeah already yeah <laughs> Damn, they was on that shit fast. Uh huh. But it was, I think, them arguing or some shit. I kind of wasn't intrigued. I scrolled. Uh, I'm not really. I don't <laughs> think they're funny. Some things about them. It's like honestly, I used to think they were funny when they first started. Yeah. But now I feel like it's forced. It's it's regular. That's their routine. Because thing. like they have to do it now. You know. She sends People him and he. Expect it from yeah. Him. She. I feel like she just be going too hard like you just be oh damn it's mm-hmm. like okay like i got what you all saying. right relax like, mm-hmm. it's not that deep mm. that's a fact eat one yikes eat one <laughs> but y'all hear about um the astronaut that's stuck in space no but you told me about it and that's fucking freaky mm. You don't like them? I hope you got a lot okay. of dry food. It's good, right? Huh? They're I hope you got a lot of dry food. <laughs> nah. They sent them up to the space station. There was supposed to be four people going. Two people, two astronauts felt weird. It was like, nah, we're not going. A male and a female went up. They were supposed to go for four days. They cannot come back down till February. What? They're stuck, yo. 
So I feel like that should be like so like plan not plan like the people that people send them out there, right? Or they just NASA volunteer to go. Them. No, NASA. NASA. That's what I'm saying. I they feel like they sh- know whether or not like yeah. they're gonna come back or not. They know there's a chance yeah, that you right? won't that come you back. Want, that you're not coming back. Sign uh, your life away. 100. percent They got. Sh- they have to sign. Right? Of course. Stuff. A waiver that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know that you know. Nobody you, could do anything if something happened. Back. Would y'all do that? No. I'll, I'm, I Look, may live on Mars though. Is there was there's um, no life on Mars? You don't know that. There was strange noises coming from the um, Starliner capsule. So pretty much like what they sent them out there in. in it was like hearing weird noises. I heard one of the, I think one of the engines went down. It's, it's five engines mm-hmm. on the spaceship. One, I think one of the engines went down. The middle engine went down. So I think they made it to the space station, but I don't think there's an. They said that their food is running out rapidly. What? Yeah. And I'm a hungry motherfucker. Maybe please that's maybe that's space. what they sending us. Not with no dry yeah. food either. Maybe that's what they telling us. Kill me now. Please don't send me to space. Those those astronauts could be dead right now for all we know. Of course. And we would never know. I was telling Lee about this. Mm-hmm. When they do, I feel like when they do like all the, oh, let's go live with astronaut Mel and Lee. And they're like, yeah, we're having a good time up here. Everything is good. We're flowing. I feel like those are all pre-recorded. Of course. I, how the fuck can you record in space? You're not in space yet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. Can they, you? They're satel- yeah, there's a space station. Yeah. All our satellites are in space. But would you want to, though? Want to what? Like, aren't you like, I don't know. If, they're, don't on, if, they, out? if they're on, mm-hmm. I think they pre-record just in case they get freaked out. They don't want to be like, all right, let's go live. And they're like, please help us. With, right. with, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to do that. So they play the footage that they want the news to see. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. It makes sense. It does, but I could be 100% wrong. Yeah. I'm just, you know, thinking of the different mm-hmm. options. But yeah, now they're gonna they supposed to be sending um another uh flight up there with two people on it so, so they that way they, they could <laughs> so they could get on it and come back. Which I don't understand like how you stuck at a space station. And this, you know what's fucked up shit like this is we're not cool with Russia, we're not cool with China. Mm-hmm. They could have sent somebody up there to help us. But them niggas is like yeah. Nope. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Cause all the space stations are up there. They could. Mm-hmm. They're, they're probably like. <laughs> they're probably like. Forty miles away, forty fifty miles away from each other, like apart. Maybe yeah. maybe a hundred miles, but mm-hmm. you can see the space station because there's nothing up there. There's no mountains, no clouds. So from one space station, you can see it over there. Mm-hmm. They can see another space station. Like the space stations aren't that far apart. But. Imagine getting stuck in space. Imagine saying you're going to go up there for four days and then now you're up there for five months. If I send you this, we going live. <laughs> Yo, chill. Why are they doing that? Yeah, so I feel bad for those fucking astronauts up there, yo. Yeah, that's crazy. I would have died from anxiety. I would have definitely caught an anxiety attack. Let me see what's the story. Uh... Yeah, they said there was weird noises before it was supposed to return to Earth on autopilot. And, yeah. That's it crazy. never returned. You know the VMAs were today, right? They're going on right now. It's going on right now. And they already, Megan Thee Stallion won for Best Trending Video. What Which video were, was yeah, that? What? The Mama Suit. Mama. Ma, 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 ma. Mamushi. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I fucking hate that song. And she came out with a snake, like um, Britney Spears. Britney, did she have the Britney suit on? Bro, no, she did not. No, the fuck, she didn't. <laughs> Bring Britney back. Why am I so <laughs> sick of her? <laughs> Free Tory. <laughs> Taylor Swift won. Why are we giving live updates? Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> nah. Um, that's insane. You know what I'm thinking about? Why motherfuckers didn't get invited to our one fashion show? We're not going hard enough. We got to go hard. I don't understand. Facts. We got to go harder. Like, for real. I thought about that. I'm like, niggas ain't getting invited to one fashion New York show. Fashion Week? That's crazy. Nigga, we didn't get invited to you, one. Do you not the gotta, fuck see what's going on here? We got to up the fashion? The fuck? 
We gotta come out here with snakes on our necks. <laughs> nah, not not even the fashion. We gotta be outside. We gotta just do some and blow motherfuckers' minds away so they see us. So we they gotta recognize. Keep, we gotta go back to forty second. And, and they be like, "Yo, we need them niggas at Fashion Week in the front row." It just is what it is. Give me a cup. Now let me tell you about this fucking these 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 like they're like um. Oh, we getting bougie over here. <laughs> These influencers from Africa, right? This guy and this girl, they just got married. And <gasps> I seen the Olympic. Oh, no, no, oh no, no, my no. god. Go go finish. Hold on. So <laughs> this lady, they get married and 2 weeks after their wedding <sighs> A video gets leaked to her husband getting fucked by another nigga. Oh my god. What would you do? Pour her. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the first thing that'll come to my head is like, I gotta go to the doctor. What would you do? Off with his head. <laughs> he was he was getting hit from the back, her husband. Oh my god. And what she said was not hit from the back. It, it, nigga was busting his ass. I ain't see the video, Charlie. but Alyssa busting his ass. He was and busting his a ass. Diddy and what's his name? Stop. <laughs> that's, fake. The, <laughs> that's fake. That's like, fake. Nah, she, <laughs> she said <laughs> he's still my husband. Everybody reliable to mistake. That's a mistake. What? what? He tripped and then, and fell in his asshole. Hold up, hold up, and then the fuck? hold up, and guess what her hashtag was? Yo. Married life. Oh my no. god. She's fucking delusional. Imagine some shit like delusional that. Delusional. Please go life. to the doctors. <laughs> All right, so Mel, you get married a week no. later, a video no. comes to your phone, and your man's making all the squinting faces like, oh, while well, he's getting fucked in the ass. Like, <clears throat> ew. And, 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 and then you see the nigga behind him looking at the camera like, <laughs> busting his ass. What would you do? First of all, I'm going to throw up. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do first. That's a scary sight. I don't even know. Would you approach him, man? What would you do, Lee? I'm fighting you. Yeah. I'm fighting fight you. Your man? Yeah, I think I'll yeah. be violent. I'm gonna get something to crack you over the head with it. I'll probably hit you I'd with a bat. I'll probably go to jail for yeah. a couple. A couple what? what do you mean? A couple oh, years. No. <laughs> a couple years. Oh, yeah. Would you stay with him? No. no. Y'all just got married. I don't know. Hashtag married life. Divorced. No. No, um, we're getting this annulled because yeah. it's a week. Facts. This shit That's don't even gonna, count yet. I was going to say, what do they do <laughs> when you just annulment. got married? And some, yeah. <laughs> we get this shit annulled. What would you do? What if I got if I got married to a woman and a week later, well, it says a few weeks later, I get a video <laughs> of what, a nigga busting her ass? Yeah. I'll get a divorce. Yeah, right? How about sure. a female? Um, if a female's fucking your bitch. Like with a strap or yeah, they just yeah, fucking? Yeah. No, with both. a strap. Hmm. Do it for either <laughs> for both. I need to get, either we get divorce or I got to get my lick back. Not the lick you back. Wanna, you want to get your lick back? For then, for the, don't be with her then. Not the lick back. We could divorce. Maybe she ain't for you. We could divorce or I got to get my lick back. But Listen, why would you feel like you need to get your lick back? Bitch, because you did it. Why can't I? And yeah. it's on video. You want a divorce? You, ain't, you, about, you out here you embarrassing me You either ready crazy? for me to do so it to you? So y'all have that conversation? Like, either I get my lick back If or... it's with a woman. If it's with a man, I'm divorcing. Divorce. Facts. Okay. If it's with a woman, I need to get my lick back. I don't want to be with, be with you after. after but you, you just cheated. Back. Yeah, after the leg back. But I just got a video of you getting hit with but a strap. Then, but you're getting your leg back with a woman. Like, I got to think about you fucking another bitch. It goes just, the same way. I just seen you getting your shit. Well, getting my coochie. By the, by no, no getting with a strap, everything. From no, the it back. didn't just get your coochie. Right? Bitch. Y'all was scissoring. You was sweating. Your baby hairs <laughs> was stuck to your <laughs> face from the sweat. Like, yeah, y'all was going crazy. The baby is stuck to the face. Y'all was going, y'all was going crazy. Y'all was scissoring. Y'all was going berserk. Like, berserk? Berserk is diabolical. Mm-hmm. Stop. <laughs> nah. Like, yeah. 
Nah, that's scary. So either I want my lick back or we could divorce. Then I get a bunch of licks. Honestly, what would you do if you seen your man doing with Fucking another girl? Another Fucking another bitch. Oh, um, we not together. Yeah, we not together. Like you get the video and I'm I got her no. hair. I and got, it's in and it's in an outfit that you bought her. So you know it's new. Well, like her video? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got a hat on that you. I got my hat on <laughs> that you got me with no shirt on. But you know that's the new hat you no, got. Wait, wait, wait. The tank top thrown over the shoulder. Stop. Yeah, nah. Going the ta- like this, nah, wiping nah, my forehead. Nah, and the shit. tank top melt. One arm out, one arm in. Ooh, you so know it's getting ready to. So, because you know it's wrinkled up right here. Because it's one arm is wrinkled up right here. I'm using this to. To wipe your face. Oh. And then go grip her ponytail <laughs> again. Stop. And in the video, I'm going so wild on her, holding her ponytail. I pop the ponytail out. <laughs> My ears hurt. <laughs> they bleeding, actually. They bleeding. Hi, sorry. Smoke coming out. They bleeding. She said, "Marry life. Like, marry Oof. what? Married oh. knife. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Speaking of marriage. I'm going to stab you with the knife I cut the cake with. There was this old model. <laughs> she was like a video girl. Mm-hmm. It has to do with being married, too. Mm-hmm. Her name is Avante Wright. She, w- she went, you know, no motion. I don't understand you people when y'all don't have no emotion. So wait, let me let me let me give a, a speech to the celebrities. Go ahead. Stop fucking with these regular bitches with your wife. If you're doing threesomes, if you're having private orgy parties at your mansion and all that type of shit. This old like a, a video vixen her name is Avante Wright. She ain't got no emotion. She's old now. She can't do videos no mm-hmm. more. It's, it's over. She was doing that shit early 2000s. It's clipped. She went on Tasha K and admitted that she was doing threesomes with T.I. and his wife and Tiny. Wow. And Tasha K was like, you ate her out? She was like, yeah. She was like, Tiny's mad cool. It's another Tiny's her mad T- cool. Her and T.I. was having threesomes with her. I wouldn't even be able to look down at Tiny's face. What if, what if, <laughs> I'm not even going to say what if, what if what? I can't even look at that either. They said that T.I. T.I. Like, what if you just don't look at her face? Like, no. what if it's all set down there? I don't know. I got to look at your face. Now, let me tell you one thing I heard about T.I. <laughs> when you go into their house, like, you got to drop your phone 100% and you got to take ecstasy. They give you, like, they got what? a bowl of ecstasy and you have to take the ecstasy. They want everybody to be on E. They just lost, they just, well, actually, they won a lawsuit for that, but because they couldn't detect it, it's just hearsay. Yeah, saying, right, like, right, oh, right. I, they gave me ecstasy. Okay. And the people in the court were like, well, you took it. Yeah, what they did. Do, they, do open your mouth. They said, how did they do it? She was like, well, when we walked in, they gave it to me in my hand. <laughs> and and the it. prosecutor ate them up for that. And you put it in your mouth on your own. Right. <laughs> All right. Right. Case dismissed. Right. Remember they said they had like a sexual like they had like These a sex trafficking. They said yes, they I remember. Those. That is insane. Yeah. But now they consider sex trafficking. If Ti and Tiny fly a bitch from New York to their house that's for sex, trafficking. that's sex trafficking. Mm-hmm. Why? If they pay you, you got on that. I'm um, first. Of all, I paid for got, that flight. You got on that flight. You came. You wanted to come. Like what the fuck you thought was gonna happen, bitch? Yeah, and they paid. <laughs> and they paid her. You thought we were just gonna yeah, have dinner? Fuck you. Though. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, You're not said, dumb. She said that they was having threesomes and it was amazing. Wow. So then why did she try to sue? Because maybe Tasha K probably paid Fucking her for idiot. the interview. Probably I always one. thought, like, how the fuck is T.I. with her? Her. I don't know. You know what it is? They've been together from the start. Yeah. So She's I older guess, than him. Yeah. So I guess I, his, tell, his so. um. I don't know what it. How old? It's like the loyalty thing. She she's way older than him, and she was way richer. than Richer than him. How far apart, like, in age are they? She is older. Yeah, a lot older. Like ten years, more less. I think more. He was obsessed with Ti. I I still am. I love Ti. Let me tell you a quick story, real quick. This girl, I'm not gonna say her name. I used to be mad cool with her back when we was probably like, I was probably like, we was probably like 17, 18. She went to college in Atlanta. And we was just mad cool and she was telling me like, I met some guy, whatever, whatever. He's an upcoming rapper. 
T.I. She was fucking with that nigga for like two years, like while she was through college. And she, and she was like, I only think he just be smoking mad weed all day. Whatever, whatever. Then. His breath probably stink. I don't think it stink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. I remember. That's that's how I first even heard of T.I. She's like, oh, he's about to come out with some song with Beanie Man. T.I. still look the same. And his first song. The he fuck came, good. <laughs> the first song he came out with. He, he looks good for his age. Mm-hmm. His first song he came out with was with Beanie Man. How old uh-huh. is he? T.I. is probably, might be my age or maybe a no, year he, older than me. No, he's older. Yeah. No, not yeah. that much. But he's Let's older see. than you. He looked the fuck good. He's not. Babe, I'm sorry, yeah. but he do look good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And I was just watching the movie Take- Takers. Yeah, he's he was fine. See? Yeah, he's older. Oh, yeah. His he's one year. He's going to be 44. His birthday <laughs> September 25th. Wow, he's a Virgo or he's a Libra? He's a Libra. He's a Libra. Yeah, that's close enough. Tiny's 49. Oh, so they're not that July far 14th. Apart, she just turned 49. So five years apart. Yeah, but 26 and 21. Is Remember when they had their their show? Family all, Family Hustle? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to watch that shit. Yeah, with so. all the babies in the bed and shit. The, like, li- the little kid is Damn, they got them. mad babies. The one with the teeth? The one with the teeth. <laughs> King, King? Uh-huh. yeah, he said it. he was like family hustle. He was like, I I didn't live here. I lived with my grandmother. I only come on the weekends to film to and then film I go back leave. home. Fucking idiot. A little dummy. Now he about to have a baby. First of all, he got the Playboy bunny tatted on his neck. Fucking dummy. Why? Why, King? He, I feel like people just Why, get tattoos King? just to get tattooed, just to say I got. That's a tattoo. so dumb. A Playboy bunny though. That shit was probably on. Uh, like you know how they do the sales for the tattoos? Oh, the the Flash Friday, yeah, the Flash Friday, sales. Oh, the Friday the thirteenth, and they pick your tattoo. <laughs> they got the whole bulletin board. Yeah, you yeah, can get. yeah. Then they had like the the fucking skeleton, skeleton, skeleton up. the Jason what face, made you, all that extra shit. What made you go in the tattoo shop, sit there like this on your neck? Say I want the Playboy bunny. <clears throat> I want that one. I want that the, that one. No, 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 the Playboy bunny. I want that one. Um, one on my neck. Yes, he's retarded. Mm, don't say that R word. Sorry, you're right. I'll take that back. He's on the spectrum. <laughs> he's on the spectrum. <laughs> or when they get a set of lips on their Bro, neck, that's but the lips stupid. aren't even like life size lips. They mad big. Yo, like I want to get my lips tatted tomorrow on your neck, wherever you got space. I don't. Well, fuck right the there, space. We going over ear. shit. Right there behind you. Me? Look at that Fuck little the space. space right we there. going over shit. See that little, matter of fact, we doing it on your forehead. On crazy. your cheek. <laughs> on your cheek. You got a forever kiss. <laughs> Yo, the new thing too. With these Somebody guys. wanted me to kiss them and, and they were going to tattoo. That's <laughs> what? How do That's not stupid. Lips. Make these bitches cup syringe. <laughs> no. Okay. Now, moving forward off of that. I was actually excited. I was like, yeah, bitch, I'll do it. <laughs> it was a female? No. I call everybody bitch. Oh. I call you bitch. Um, a problem. <laughs> moving out of that. <laughs> this model, Jessica White, she got the, because you know now they're doing the eye color surgery. I told you in America. Yes, now. that's what shit. Tiny got. No, now they got it in America. And now. her daughter. They went. Her eyes are purple too. I think they're green. Fucking dummy. Yeah, now this model Jessica White, she got the eye color surgery. She said that that shit was like an hour and twenty minutes. The whole do, surgery. Do, I don't think people understand how sensitive eyes are. You fuck up, you're blind. And that's it. That's what I'm saying. You First can't go you backwards. Know you know they're saying that even if it's not a fuck up, down the line. You can have eye problems because of that. Well, I know that having lighter eyes is worse. You have yeah, you already have than having dark eyes because the stigmatism, right? You're you're guaranteed to go like your vision is impaired as you get older with lighter eyes because it's like not having melanin in your eyes. In your eyes, there's nothing to protect your your eyes. That shit don't make no sense. I mean, a lot of things don't make sense. Having uh, having two babies by two different baby daddies, 
as twins is crazy too. That I'm not I'm not jacking that. I don't care what Google or Maury says. I'm not jacking that. Yeah, it was the, the, the paternity test too, bro. I don't believe that. You shit. cannot look, say no to the paternity with, test. Look, people with light colored eyes, including <clears throat> hazel green or blue eyes, are at high risk for damage and eye diseases tied to UV exposure. Yeah. Like from the sun. So having dark eyes is like kind of like having shades off? Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Would you, would you, Lee, would you do that eye surgery, like to change your color? Definitely not. No. No way. I love my eyes. You know, I always wanted to have like darker contacts. I would, I would want to put dark contacts in. Why? To are like, you dumb? your eyes are beautiful. No, no, no. I. What's the purpose of that? That's stupid. That's if you dumb. Know, maybe no. I was just stupid as a kid. I wanted know, darker eyes. Or you can't <laughs> see already. She has green eyes. I, I was wanted, blessed. Yeah. People put contacts so, in their eyes so, to put lighter eyes not i'm gonna put contacts to put darker eyes. so my brother bought like hazel contacts he, yeah. he has brown eyes it's like my colored eyes little light no funny shit he bought them and i put them in my eyes and i actually liked it because it was like i don't it's know it's because you're not used to it it's different it's something different it was it was no cute. no funny though back in the day i remember your brother was running around with with contacts contacts on that shit was they so were hazel. cringy I remember. No, it's funny you said that. I do remember that. That nigga uh-huh. was running around yeah. with that shit. Hell yeah. For I feel like while. I remember a little too. For a little while. Nah. And then I took him. Yeah. Nah, this was before you. But it don't matter. He could have still been doing it. Mm, no. No? Nah, Maybe my, pictures. I used to be with him all the time. Yeah, but so I think you pictures. Know. You probably remember pictures because he had a lot of pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And I always this was probably like, like when A was probably like in high school yeah. and I was probably like in junior high school. But you used to see the nigga probably every day. Yeah. I remember he had the contacts. And then he used to wear the little specs. But I, the, I remember him yeah, wearing yeah, yeah. glasses. That was, a, that was like a thing though, contacts. That was a thing. That was, yeah, that was, that was a thing. definitely a thing. I remember one time I wore my mom's contacts. <laughs> Or like, her glasses? No, her contacts, <laughs> and they were prescription. Yeah. What Yo, glasses? that shit had my vision. Like, I was just so fiend, and it was green. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, why do I... My this vest- is what contacts do? No, but they were prescription. You so didn't I was, know that. Nah. But I was still wearing them because they looked fire. You know what's crazy? As I got older, I would always tell her, like, Mom, can I please wear contacts? Can I get contacts? I'd be contacts? like, no, you got beautiful eyes. Are you yeah, dumb? she would never love me. I wanted green contacts. Now, I hate seeing adults with contacts on. I'm going to get some. Me too. Right. I'm going to get some. I'm going to get green. Me the fuck too. If I see you with contacts, I swear to God, I'm going to pull your eye back. Like, and I love my eyes. Like, contacts, they always poked out. The only person I ever they seen with contacts out. that looked fire and they looked real was Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim had the with most... With the hazel... Blue, with the light blue ones. Her shit was... Oh, you yeah, could tell shit was expensive. Shit. She didn't have them cheap contacts. Like, Lil' Kim... There was Kim, no such thing as no cheap contacts. No. Back then when Lil' Kim was Lil' Kim... They were cheap contacts. They were cheap contacts. Just but like her, her cheap ass hair. Just ain't think <laughs> no, that. but she had... No, no. The good expensive contacts was the I contacts seen the, I seen with the black Kim lines contacts. around it. The ones that had the black line around it because it looked real. Those are fucking Halloween. They sell them in the store right now. For nine ninety nine. Now, <laughs> no back good then. contacts are probably like thirty dollars up. I feel like if you're gonna get contacts, get ones that are like for your complexion. Like I wouldn't get some shit that's l- turquoise blue. Right, uh, you're gonna look like a goddamn up, idiot. Popping up, looking like this. You're gonna look retarded. <laughs> you're look looking like coked up. <laughs> <laughs> looking boked up. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, y'all heard about all these people dying off the O? No. no. Over 150 people in the U.S. die from Mozambic. That's insane. You know and who, it's crazy. I feel like who's going to stop doing it? Ice Spice. <laughs> Ain't not. She better stop. What did you. Talking about it, she though. She was crazy. Disintegrating. Now, all, we, all that shit we was talking, her friend exposed her. Ozempic. Talk, talk about it. It's Ozempic. Fucking, what's her name? Cleo Trapper. Cleo Trapper. I hate when bitches is friends. Sorry to call y'all bitches. Yeah, no, fuck that. But when y'all do shit like this, and then y'all go on the internet and talk about each other like that, this is why I have no friends. (laughs) No funny shit. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's better weird. that way. Nobody no, knows your I business. I have friends, but they're like, you know, they right. they at a distance, and I know they're my friend. Right. But I think she took her on tour. Was it? She took her on tour with her. Yeah. And um, Cleo was complaining that they didn't feed her. <laughs> yeah, no. was that it she had no, the sword? All her stuff. No, she said that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be devil's yeah, advocate. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you want you want to be the good friend or the bad friend? Always the good. You want to be Ice Spice or Cleo? I'll be Cleo. I don't want to be Ice. Spice. <laughs> I'll be Ice Spice. All right, I'm Ice Spice, international superstar, worldwide. Right, I come and bring your little raggedy ass out the hood to come on tour with me. Little raggedy ass. Now, you know how much exposure you're about to get off this tour. Yeah. You know how much money you're going to be able to make, like, when this tour is done. You know how many, okay. how much more merch you're going to sell. Yeah, how many you know how many bookings. more streams and bookings you're going to yeah, have after yeah, this. Yeah. Right? I agree. So, she, she tells her, I'm going to take you on the tour. Everything is paid for, right? They didn't pay for, you. They didn't pay for her food, right? Mm-hmm. She had a spot. She, had, she was on the tour bus, right? Wait, they didn't pay for her. That's what she was mad about? Yeah, yeah, because... I didn't really get the whole... All right, she's telling her product... Like, first of all, you're on an Ice Spice tour. The rider... A rider is... Basically, when I say a rider is... Y'all will know about that one day. Hopefully sooner than later. When we're going to go somewhere, they be like, what's your rider? All right, I want... <coughs> I need a pack of medium Calvin Klein t-shirts. I need um, steak. I need and salmon. I need shrimp. And it's all a rider. brown so, M&M's. And... Uh, Packs of M and M's, whatever, whatever. Brown. So Only let's brown. say we're we're doing a podcast <laughs> Only tour. Only Star- Starburst, Starburst, right? Shit like that. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah, say yeah. let's say we're on like a podcast tour and we're going to Atlanta now. That would mm-hmm. be so fire. So now we're going to Atlanta. And they want our rider, your dressing room, your dressing room, my dressing room, or we have one dressing room. We want everything. We need Casamigos. We need Hennessy. We need uh 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 uh, uh what's the juice to mix it with? Um, um, passion, passion fruit, fruit. Mm-hmm. we need passion fruit and it has to be this kind Welch's, Welch's. Pa- it has to be mm-hmm. like always that Welch's. always Welch's like, <laughs> like that that's a rider like we tell them what we need mm-hmm. when we get there the table is set the Casamigos there mm-hmm. the M&M's mm-hmm. is there the steak is there cooked in aluminum the salmon is there on, they on the what them shit's called the, 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 the sterners the, the hot on the sterners uh-huh. they there waiting for us when we get there now we gotta do it you know what I mean that's a rider so the rider is for Ice Spice. Ice Spice is doing her a favor mm-hmm. and bringing her on tour. So basically, so, Ice Spice ain't have no rider. No, mm-hmm. no, Ice Spice sent her a rider. She did. That's her. But Cleo went to the production people like, I, I need a salad. And they're like, no. Ooh. It's not on the rider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're just an add-on. You're just a, yeah, you're you're a, a ride add-on. along. Ice Spice said, and she Cleo said it, we have an extra tour bus. Come on this tour with me. She was like, oh, I wasn't even announced on none of the flyers and none of that. Okay, go ahead. But you were still. I what, got something to say after. What I would have did was if I was Cleo, mm-hmm. I would have had a designer off Instagram. Because she was just on what? Um, she was just on that show with uh, uh, all the influencers. Bernice Burgos was on it. It was like that little show. It wasn't really lit. It was like a show. Uh, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking, talking about. Ma- 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 Melani was on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was all on it. That She was on that show with mm-hmm. them. Anyway, so what I would have did was I would have went Instagram. I need a graphic designer. Boom. Got the graphic. I gave him $50. Yo, here's the tour schedule. Make a schedule with Ice Spice on it and put my picture on it too. On it make too. it look yeah. nice. Make me my own cap, my own flyer for the mm-hmm. tour. She was like, oh, Ice was posting her shit and, and, and I wasn't even on it. So get on it. She's giving you. Like, do your own shit. Do you. Get She's giving it. you the shit, right? So then that's what happened with the thing. She wanted Ice Spice um, security to carry her luggage. All right. I could say something. I agree with you. I'm not 100%. done. 100%. All right. Before you continue. Go ahead. Go. If you're my friend and I was with you while you was no one, because Khalil was already. She's she was. Just, she's still yeah, like yeah, not yeah. doing what she needs to be doing to be. Because Ice Spice fucking blew up and she's still where she's at she surpassed her yes mm-hmm. but i know that they was friends before ice spice mm-hmm. was, became ice spice mm-hmm. ice spice was wearing a fucking she said it body suits with jordans this had no fucking style nothing they was friends 
before that. I just, I feel like it's a friend code. If we was friends when we was nothing, nothing. they wasn't friends like give that. Give me a give me a second. It was not they friends was. like that. No, they wasn't. Yes, they was. She didn't even know Ice Spice nationality. Maybe Ice Spice didn't tell her or lied about it. It don't even matter. I don't know. But Ice my Spice point is nationality. And she my friend. point is you shouldn't know. But she's but in she's she every, out there. Like, that's every, like uh, all I yeah. know is that she got red hair. My thing and is, she's on the if Olympic. you're my friend, <laughs> why you wouldn't you invited me on this tour or whatever? <laughs> Why you not gonna have me? That's just the type of friend I would be. Yeah, like if yeah, I was yeah. a ice spice, I'm gonna be like, I'm, "What you want? Yeah, Do you want like I got you, bitch. Pink, like, and pink yeah. Starburst. What you just want? Pink? I tell them right now. You want them to take it out the wrapper? I got all this money. I got you. I'm gonna tell them what you need. Now you can't be ODing because this ain't for you. But what you need? What you want? She was on a tour bus for free. She was staying in hotels for free. She was with her though. Of course they're gonna. It's for free. I'm sure she was eating for free. All she did, if she wasn't eating for free, she would have mentioned that. All she mentioned was the time that she asked for a chicken salad, and they said that's not in our budget. A chicken salad is not in the budget. Yeah, because you're all, asking the wrong people. Just get it yourself, bro. I right. Yeah. Uber eats that. She shit. said what she said was, "Oh, I, I would have gave them the money, or or my manager would have gave it to them. Why you ain't saying your man? Your manager's there. Why yes. you ain't saying your manager to get you a chicken salad? What I salad? didn't like that ice. Spice so let's did. keep it a hundred. Now you're right. What I didn't like that ice spice did was like air her shit out. Like you know, like she sounds so corny talking about some. We went to an Italian restaurant and she was ordering this and this and this, mm-hmm. being like being a big bag. Like, bitch, come on. Because you tried to embarrass her. Why? How why? can Ice Spice be embarrassed though? You can't be embarrassed. You can't you feel laugh embarrassed. At shit like that. No, laugh what? No, at it. You no. You up on her. You already got. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Why That's you try it. to, if you my friend, why you try to put me out there? Now I'm going to put you out there. No, Ice Spice said something first, then Cleo said something. No, she was responding on, tw- uh, on, 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 what's that shit called? Twitter Spaces. Because they was asking her about it. Twitter spaces. That's some new shit. Yeah, Twitter spaces. <laughs> spaces, you could go in there and you could talk to people. Like, you could start a room and then people start joining your room. You could talk. You could let pe- let people be speakers and all that. You could turn their mics off. All right, so you on Ice Spice side, basically, is what you're saying. I ain't on nobody's side. I don't have a dog in that fight. But right is right, wrong is wrong. I feel like they both wrong. But no, Ice were- Spice is not wrong. She gave you an opportunity. I don't feel like it was an opportunity. If, though. If, yeah, no, if right I, now, I could right? I agree with like, you girl, and I could agree with I you. I feel it was like, girl, come on. No, me. listen, I'm, I'm going to make an example. Let me make an example real quick. <clears throat> if Joe Budden podcast said, yo, I'm asking for a friend podcast. We're going on a podcast right. tour and I want to give y'all 40 minutes before we do our live shit to do y'all podcast. Right. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna, ha- y'all gonna be, have, have transportation. Y'all gonna have hotels. Y'all gonna, be, you know all that. We bringing our own bread to eat. Like, you yeah. think I'm going to wait for Joe Budden to eat for me to eat? You are right. I'm Negative. <laughs> we got our own hotel. I'm, I'm just happy to be there. <laughs> yeah. I'm bringing my own clothes. Y'all bringing your own clothes, your mm-hmm. own makeup. I'm not going there depending on Joe mm-hmm. Budden. Or, um, who they got on their show? Melissa Ford. Or your I'm not waiting for y'all to artist wait for your... Nah. Uh-uh. We going to do our we own shit. It. What time we going on? Boom. We ready. Y'all mm-hmm. ready? Yeah, we dressed right now. Mm-hmm. We going to go do our thing. I'm not talking about... Oh, Joe Budden was eating steak and I, I was eating uh, Wendy's. Nah, man, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm going to take Facts. advantage of this opportunity. I'm, I'm going to have gain, my own merch. I'm going to gain more fans. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? And I, I made that example. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, yeah, and right. I'm not going to air him out because he didn't buy f- pay for my food. My salad. This nigga just gave me an oppor- opportunity of a lifetime that nobody gave me. I don't give a fuck if the flyer didn't say featuring I'm asking for a friend podcast doing a mini podcast before we do ours because they should be like two, three hours. If he say, yo, y'all get 30 minutes to do your podcast, we're going to be in a hotel room figuring it out. What the fuck? Boom. We're going to yeah. do it. Every city. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I don't agree with is both of them going back and forth. Like, On social media. Y'all grown. Figure that shit the fuck out. I don't know. Yeah, I've lost. Once, I've lost. Dumb. Listen, I, once it goes on social media, that's where the defense have to go on social media. I feel if like you try dumb. to air me on social media, I'm not trying I'm to talk to you in text. I'm going to go I'm right to... I'm going to come back to, with... Yeah, I'm going to come back with the truth. Mm-hmm. My truth. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, they was both wrong for going on the internet. That's... But the girl Cleo went first. 
Ice Spice defended herself because now, especially with this Ozempic shit and all that, everybody's coming at her. Everybody's coming at this girl right now. Like at this exact point, now everybody's airing her. Everybody out. is, yeah. Everybody's on her back. We we knew it when we didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah. So. Damn. And Cleo, if you didn't see her doing the Ozempic, you shouldn't make those accusations. That's a fact. And I doubt Ice Spice is gonna do Ozempic in front of anybody. I doubt it. But oh, if you're my it friend, they unfollow I'm each not other. gonna I'm not gonna feel a way if I do decide to do it in front of you. Because I don't think that you would be you know, dirty enough to but air my shit out. Clearly, I took you with me, bitch. Yeah, but she ain't appreciate it, obviously. She, clearly, it, it wasn't appreciated. She wanted more. Like I said, if Joe Budden and them took our podcast on a podcast that's the, tour. That's the truth. And we're not on the fly saying that we're opening that's up. That's fine. I'm going to make my own fly saying Facts. we're opening up for Joe Budden. We're going to be in fact. this city. That I'm not waiting for nobody. That's the shit. That girl Cleo was waiting for Ice Spice to roll out the red carpet. She already brought you to the water, bitch. Drink. She took. <laughs> she 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 didn't feed you the fish. She taught you how to fish. No, she didn't. She said, "If you're good at this, you'll know how to fish." Right. Unfortunately, in other words, you had to starve a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. Why are you not saying? Oh, she had me up in all these, all these hotels. All these hotels. She I had me on the bus. That. I, I didn't, didn't pay, pay for, no, for that. Like I had an opportunity to come out there and perform songs and that nobody it. knew. Nobody knows Cleo Trapper. No. Do you know a Cleo Trapper song? No. Do you know? Then somebody made a video on um, the comedian nigga Ray Ray. He said, Cleo Trapper been outside since 2016. Where? Where? <laughs> Where? Yeah, I don't know. I never heard of her until Lee told me. Yeah, I never heard of it. We said, oh, she does funny videos. And That's and all that. she does, though. That's all I know her for. It's I never even knew her for that. I, I never saw a video. No? Her. Never. Yeah, her videos well, used to be pretty funny. They was funny to me. Yeah. I never seen a video of her. But y'all did, so yeah, I'm not going to yeah, say yeah. she's a, like, y'all seen it, I didn't. Yeah. She was pretty funny. And now then, I don't know. I don't know if she's funny anymore. I never heard a song she's from so her. She's so much in the drama or something. She had made like a, 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 like a Hannah Montana kind of vibe. I song. hate that shit. Like, if you start with a specific something, that's who you are. You know, that's what people Your know Instagram, you for. Instagram, funny girl from Instagram. Yeah, that's what people know you for. Keep that shit. Now you start rapping and Keep shit. that shit and then promote something else. What she said, now you start rapping. Yeah. You start rapping and one of the biggest artists out there decide to take you on Took tour. You with yeah. them. And you mad over a chicken salad? Yeah. Or you mad because niggas didn't fucking carry your bags? You, you fucked Ice Spice, up with that one. She said that Ice Spice told her, you're good, don't bring nobody because nobody else is in the budget. Yeah. She decided to bring her manager. Your manager should have been carrying your bags. Your manager should have did a lot for you. Nigga, you on an Ice Spice tour. If I'm a manager on an Ice Spice tour, I'm getting all those contacts. Who, who, Hell yeah. Who, who, who booked this tour? Who's the um, booking agent? Yeah, I need to get your contact. What what you should be doing is complaining to your manager because he didn't do his job. That's, but that's all she it expected down Ice Spice to be... Ice Spice is worrying about getting her hair done, her makeup. That's the problem. Doing this big what tour. What expecting lead you? Rehearsing. Expectations <laughs> breed frustration. There Look, go. Hello, go she back. got frustrated and then Ice Spice said that she walked in while she was in the shower and was complaining to her about that. Ice Spice, like, I'm butt naked in the shower. You want to complain about a chicken salad, bitch? Yeah. There's lettuce in the fridge and there's chicken on the damn sterners. So so think about <laughs> this, right? Make yourself a chicken bitch. salad, bitch. Think about this. As soon as they got off the nah, tour. you know, she on those Ozempic, so she not probably really not eating, eating like, like that. that. <laughs> so that's probably why Cleo was a little tight. <laughs> Bitch, where the food at? Where the food? Just cause you not eating, I'm hungry. Get your own food, do your own thing. Her her manager should have been like Cleo Trapper from the reality show, whatever that show whatever. that was on. Well, well, it's gonna be in your city if you want to do features and anything, skits, anything, anything. That nigga should be fired. Yes. And look, they went on a whole tour, right? They went on a whole entire tour. Think about this too that nobody thought about. People fed so much into the drama. They went on a whole entire tour. A whole tour. Mm-hmm. 
And all you had to complain about was a chicken salad. A, that time that they didn't get you the chicken salad on this whole tour? Yeah. What about all the other cities you was eating then? Mm-hmm. What I would have did was food. what I would have did was <laughs> I would have been eating the food that's a nice spice um Hell yeah. dressing room. Oh, dressing room. Cause she said she had to share a dressing room or she, mm-hmm. she had to get ready an ice spice dressing room. Mm-hmm. Why was she eating that food? Eat what you like. I'ma eat what's there. People are ungrateful. All right. I, I would have just been thanking her so much. Thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Me, I kind of like the yellow um starburst, so it's okay if you have the pink ones. I'm gonna eat them. Period. <laughs> I'ma eat the yellow ones. <laughs> Moving on, I have a question. <laughs> what? Um. What occupation would you never date, and why? Bartender, stripper. And why? Um. Rapper. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about this the other day. Podcaster. Why? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, I definitely wouldn't date a female rapper. Unless, like, I'm her manager or something like mm-hmm. that. That way, you know what I'm saying? Because once... She, well, uh, this is if because you ain't dating nobody else. But, yeah. Go ahead. I will never date a female rapper. I will never date a bartender, stripper. Why not a bartender? Because this is a conversation we have privately all the time. But I, um, I wanted an, I wanted you to explain it. No, nah, so I'm going to explain it to you right now. I'm 42. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of these new young niggas that, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from where my man shouldn't know my girl got a tattoo on her ass or what her titties look like with, with pasties on it and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's for me to see. What if she only works outside of where y'all from? No man should see that. Like, no other man should know if my girl got a tat on her ass or if she got butterflies tatted by her pussy. No man should know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm big on that type of shit. Like, let, let something be for me. Because if, 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 if there's no like, nothing the exclusive... To, yeah, if there's no... All right, calm the fuck down. Don't nobody know what my tattoos are. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm not saying that. I'm no, just I'm, 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 I'm just saying for me, I was not describing Mel's tattoos. It, it definitely, that was definitely that. was one. That's crazy. What? Mm-hmm. Yo, I was not. Dis- I never seen Mel's tats that aren't on her arms or her leg. <laughs> Chill. Um. Yeah, I just feel like. My, I, let's say I want to stay home and my niggas decide to go to, to a go bar out. where my girl works and then they bring they niggas and all that and then they hit they, you up they like yeah hey, your girl no was not even that sending me liquor. hold up that Saturday she's like what's up bro that Saturday then Sunday I invite the bros over to watch the fight and my girl's in a sweatsuit like nothing like <laughs> like they don't know how she look nah that's weird that's weird nobody okay. no, I don't feel like a man should know how my woman looks naked. A stripper? Nah, no man should know how my bitch twerks, how her ass moves, none of that shit. Like, that's... I, I don't got the stomach for that. To date a woman that, that, that does that. And I don't knock... I'm not knocking anybody that does that. Like, if that's what you do, I respect that. Do that, my boy. Like, that's just not for me. Like, that'll lead to... I'll be arguing with her. I know I'll be arguing with her all the time. Because shit'll go through my head, like... Like on a slow night, you came home with two twenty five hundred. <laughs> Fuck you doing? Fuck you was doing? Fuck is you doing? Show me what you was doing. A female rapper, like I, don't I said, I want to see it. Everybody else saw it. <laughs> a female rapper. Some females, and I'm not saying all. Some females will have a man, right? A female rapper and figure they they want to get on so bad that they'll go fucking be in a studio, be starstruck, and go fuck Fabio. Just for mm. a verse. Like, you thought, like... And she mm. thinking, like, fuck it, I'm just doing it for this verse. Nah, like, that. that's just... And I'm not there, well, like... I never thought about that like I that. I never thought about it like that. I was smart. Like, you got some females that'll do what they gotta do for their career. and mm-hmm. go, fuck if they got a man. They're like, fuck him. Because they'll look at it as, I got this opportunity. This opportunity I'm gonna yeah. If I fuck this nigga, I could get on. But if I don't, to satisfy this nigga, this nigga's not putting me on. I'm gonna do that shit. Fuck it. Just, I want it that much. Silence. 
I'm not dating Always. a promoter. Oh my gosh. I'm not dating a promoter. <laughs> I agree. A promoter Ew. is cringe. <laughs> yeah. Them niggas be fucking hitting 50 star yeah, side. Nah. Y'all promoting this spot over here. Like, bro, bro what, are, what you are you doing? doing? Where's your kids? Where's your girl? Why you not married? Why you don't got a house? <laughs> Why? What is the goal? What, what is the goal? Here? Yeah, what is the goal? Why are you still in Dykeman? Yeah, Why are you still in Astoria, Queens? What are we doing? Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, That's probably bro. the most cringiest. A promoter? Yeah. I think so. For me, as a promoter. What, what the else? fuck are you a promoting? A promoter. Um, I feel like low-key DJs are the same. I'm a DJ. Don't do that. I'm just saying. They are the same. <laughs> um, How? Promoters and DJs fall in the same category. Uh, it depends on what kind of DJ. I'm telling you. But, all right, go ahead. I know a couple you DJs. You don't agree? But I definitely you do agree. You agree. I definitely agree. I'm a, I'm a radio DJ. <laughs> okay, but I love that for you. You're not like people were talking but about. But I know radio slash club. I mean, obviously, it's yeah, radio. Yeah, 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 going club. to the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, I everybody's just, different. I just feel like... um. When they start shit, it's it's on a, a humble shit. And but then, then as they get once lit, they try, they assume they're getting a little lit. I feel like then their ego though. gets yeah. ahead of them, and then now they're this yes important person where they forget where they came from, De- or they forget they fucking woman. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What else? I could say a rapper too. I don't think I'll ever. I wouldn't date a rapper, or would have ever. Yeah. I wouldn't. No. A rapper? Yeah, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. I'm like so. I feel like I, I'm. I said the same. Shit. I just said a female. <clears throat> yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't. I feel like because first of all, you around yeah, bitches go. all the time. Mm-hmm. The temptation alone, without being a rapper, is crazy. Yes. Imagine you being a upcoming rapper and you're in the club scene and people start to hear your name around like shit. You're getting lit. Yeah, you. You're not for me. You're not for me. It's like, yes, there's temptation, but I feel like people like that don't have self control. Yeah, because they, they think they're so lit. Like, yeah. all right, like, I'm that know, nigga like, now. I'm that yeah, nigga. Like, you know who I you am. You see how with, with females, mm-hmm. how you explained it? How, like, they're, they're probably woofing for opportunity. No, niggas would just it don't think matter. they're the shit and they just want to fuck. I could do whatever I. I want. could do what I want because this bitch still gonna be with me. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm the money maker. Like I'm, I'm the lit nigga. Like, I don't want to no? be with nobody because of I that. Feel like that. Okay. I don't know. And I feel like I'm. I feel like I could feel like you could say this too, but you could agree or disagree. I'm so like low key, like and like I don't like to be seen like, on I'm the just, outside. I'm just like regular. I don't want to be. Yeah. Like I'm too like. I don't want to say I'm not. I don't want to be a people be. person, but I could be. But I don't want to. I'm. I don't really like too much. Like I'm a extrovert or introvert. Yeah. I don't want to be the add on. I don't want to be like, oh, that's uh uh uh's girl. What are you? I don't uh uh uh's girl. Yeah, but I don't want to be. I am my own person. I don't want to be known for being your girl. I don't feel like I mind that. No, I don't. I rather no. I rather you tell you. Ra- I rather you say I'm not your me girl being on the sideline, then, and then me being looked at because you out here fucking all these other yeah, ratchet that, okay, ass bitches. Okay, when you say it like that, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. it makes sense when she says it like that. No, because it's like, all right, you got the, you got your girl regular and then ass you fucking the girl, all these you fuck all dirty these. bitches. Yeah, because you're, and that's what you're rappers somebody. do. Rappers, yeah, no, fuck around with. Bartenders, exactly. strippers, and then like, they got this it now. badass yeah. bitch at home. Like, what mm-hmm. the fuck you got me here for? To like, be a little housewife? Fuck out of here. No. Not with it. Pass me, please. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? You, what else you want to do with occupation? I feel like we're talking about. I don't know. Would you date a Would you date a nigga that work at McDonald's or something? We had that discussion already. Oh, oh I know. I wouldn't date a bitch as like a female security guard. 
wait, security guard, like, we in, like, a food stamp office? <laughs> yeah, especially at the food stamp office. <laughs> Where the fuck, what kind of security guards? Nah, because, like, first of all, in the food stamp office, you see thousands of people. Facts. And out of them thousands of people, mad motherfucking, um, you're going to see mad <laughs> niggas complimenting you. And what? I wouldn't date a medical assistant at a physical therapy office. Why? Because that's where all the niggas from car accidents go, all the scammers go, <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> yes. I want to work there. Physical <laughs> therapy office. I was about to say some dumb shit too, but I'm. She said it for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's that could be anything though, because that's like you. Because I used to work at a fucking like a radiology, like when uh-huh. you got X-rays and stuff, and that happens too. Nah, but you're gonna get more niggas that look like me that's gonna go in that physical therapy office. You know what? I would never Car date accidents, shit like that. A tow truck driver. Oh, that's good. <laughs> a tow truck driver. I don't nope. know too much about it. A chaser. I'm, I would never date a chaser. What the fuck is a chaser? They chasing car accidents. Like, and fighting other tow truckers. Yes, yeah, basically, whoever Bro, got this. This is my hood. Mm-hmm. Like, no. Like, they I'm, all I'm have I'm never like doing a, that. A hood they all go to. If you pass a certain boundary, this is my area. It's if like, it's on it's like that boundary, Bronx, Manhattan. And whoever makes it first. Like, nigga, you from Manhattan. Why you yeah. in the Bronx? Yeah. Nigga, you from the Bronx. Why you in Manhattan? I'm not doing that. You from Brooklyn. Why are you all the way in I'm, the I'm, Bronx? I would never do that again. Mm-hmm. I'm going to rephrase. Okay. I would never do that again. But yeah, a motherfucking medical assistant or somebody to work at a physical medical therapy assistant. office. You know, that 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 would actually be beneficial, though. What? Like, a physical therapy. Oh, that made me, like, love my job even more. You know why? You saying that. Because if you work, if a car accident happens, let's just say... A car accident happens and that person needs physical therapy you could assist in that and you and that person could break bread all right ma shut up <laughs> no. i'm not no medical Cause, assistant he's not going cause you, cause i'm you, not uh, saying it for him i'm just what saying, the fuck? In, general, I'm just saying in general you. i'm just saying like med- like physical therapy office right you walk in there I had mad car accidents. There's always young bitches in there. They yeah. always like, "Oh, what's up?" And once after three times, they're like, "Hey, Carlos." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they you know gotta you. feel. Yeah, now they comfortable. They talking to you. They First joking of all, with call you. Call me by my last name, bitch. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just to bring it up, and not not me wanting to bring it up, but like I was with somebody, and I get it. I get that because they was doing that too, mm-hmm. like going to do physical therapy mm-hmm. and like everybody knew them knew yeah i was like yo you're mad weird yeah. mad friendly too friendly for me yeah so you're right i agree was it a guy or a girl it was a girl oh it's different from guys no it's not it's the same girls still want to fuck with girls it's the same little do you know it's the same fucking thing okay Mm-hmm. but yeah so nowadays everybody want to be gay facts or fake gay or try it yeah, but those bitches that be behind the counter, they all be loose. All of them be loose. Like, they are all thirsty. Loose. They, they, you know what I mean? They, and they know how much you're getting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they thinking it's a come up. And then mm-hmm. you got a lot of scammer niggas that go in there because now you got the nigga that's in the accident. Well, that's what I'm talking about, the whole scamming shit. Uh, you, nah, <laughs> hold up. You got the nigga that's in the accident, but then you got the nigga that's tied to the physical therapy. Like, yo, I'll, I'll give you a stack up front. Mm-hmm. You come to my shit right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. He bring you... That nigga is the nigga that's cool with the doctors and everybody. And he fucks all the bitches. <laughs> he fucks all of them. Because he's the nigga... He don't just go there for one person. Nope. He got Mel in there. He got you in there. Who, so he's he always in there. He be walking in that shit like... Facts. Like, he, yo, yeah, I he go in there. these motherfuckers in Because I know niggas that do that. They go in there. They walk behind the, the, the mm-hmm. desk. Yo, what, what's up? What's up, um, Melissa? Mm-hmm. What's up, Lee? Da, 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 da. Taking charts out. Yo, I just got two people there about to come in here. Yep. So he's familiar with them. Yep. So he, yeah, nah, hell no. <laughs> I would nah, never hell no. <laughs> have. I would never would have dated a scammer. Why? I don't know. It's just never my like thing. I feel like every girl I was always around. Or, like, always went out. Like, Well, that shit comes to an end very fast. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's like very a hit fast. or miss. And also, like, I just wouldn't. Like, it's just like dating a, like, like a rapper or, like, something like that. Like, they well, always truck think they have money and they always think they're the <laughs> shit. And they always think they could get any bitch. Like, yeah. 
I feel like scammers, y'all should have jobs. Then you way, should always have a job. Yeah, no, but these new scammers yeah. don't have jobs. That is I their job. I know a lot of scammers that have jobs, but I don't care if you have a job or not. I still wouldn't date you. Like, don't even try. Like, you know not to try. I feel like a scammer with a, like, with a, with a job, like a career, like with a good job, and he's a scammer on the side and all that, and is making money, I think he's more more focused. You know what I'm saying? No. Versus a scammer that just depends on that. He's going to get the bread, blow it, blow it, go to the next scam when you got a motherfucker that's Still more... Still live in his mom's house. Yeah, when you got a motherfucker that got a job, he got his own crib. Okay, yes. And he does but all you're it. talking about him being, like, set. I'm talking about being in a relationship with somebody like that. There's no relationship with somebody like no. that. No. You're talking about no relationship with a runner, with the middleman nigga. No. The I'm main scam. With, with no, the scammer. With the scammer. Yeah, hell yeah. Because you're talking about, yes, okay, yes, they may be... <clears throat> smart about it but also i'm thinking about since i'm a female i'm thinking about you just wanna you know that you good yeah you think you the shit you don't give you don't really give a fuck about me like you wanna go and fuck this bitch this bitch try to hide it and still be yeah, with me yeah yeah i'm i'm my man is i know i know i know this like nigga that. is a scammer but he's like a nerd He's married, got a house in they PA. They be smart, yeah. No, this nigga don't leave his crib. He's that type of scammer. He's the nigga okay, that's that, that gets, to, he's the nigga that got the accounts. He'll give them to you. Now you give them to him. Now you give them to him. Now it's yeah, four yeah, niggas. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what y'all do. What y'all do. Give me the, my bread give back. Give me my yeah. shit, yeah. I know a scammer like that. And my man, he married. He's, he's chilling. He don't even come outside. He's scared to come outside. He's scared to come outside. He's scared. It's, he got his whole basement <laughs> is renovated. He older? Is he like your age? He's my age. Okay, he got so his whole basement. This nigga got a hot dog machine know, in his basement. It's he crazy just got money. Because yeah. Even even now, the guys that are scammers are fucking stupid. Like they could be older and they still are super childish. Like you you don't know no better. You don't know no better. Those you're, be like those be like the middle niggas. Like yeah, you're, those are you're, niggas that you're waiting to get tied a real up scammer will shit. not go on social media and be like, "Yo, B O A T D Citibank yeah. tap Send in." That's yeah. not a scammer. That's no. a runner. The scammer is the nigga that it's like, nigga. Niggas do be like that. Dumb niggas, that. you got going in the banks better not even know who the fuck I am. Right. I'm in my house. I'm driving a Honda Accord. Yo. When you see a nigga. Running around with the fucking you put it down. a nigga with the X7 popping yeah. out to the block. That's not that's not the nigga. That's the nigga probably under the nigga. But the nigga is is, is a millionaire. He's he's not. He's letting y'all niggas blow y'all money in the club and look stupid. And he don't want to be out there known like I'm a big scammer. No, nigga, that's Fed time. All right. So, do you like dating people your age or no? No. Obviously not. All right, yeah. For so, me, I guess it's for her. I don't want to date nobody younger than me. I cannot date anybody who don't have anything going for themselves. But what if they do? Younger than me, I don't know. I did you still got a lot to learn? I think it's different for a woman. For a woman, yeah. Dating a younger it's man true. versus yeah. a man dating a younger woman. I don't. I the don't, man's the leader. In any relationship, the man is and, the leader. And I'm not letting a 25-year-old lead me to nowhere. Right. No. Crash out. Lead no. you to crash out. No. Mm-hmm. I could crash out on my own. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> could crash out on your own. Yeah, but it, it's different. Like, Give a, me the Henny bottle. <laughs> like a woman, like, like a woman my age dating like a 25-year-old boy. Nah, hell no. That, that just looks weird. Like. First of all, I'm not gonna be, they be doing dating it, you. Yeah, they be doing it. Like, I'm not gonna I've be seen it first dating hand. you. I'm probably just gonna be fucking you, and that's it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Weird. But then after that, it, like, I'm gonna send you home. <laughs> I, I think you like for a woman like your age, forty, to be dating like a 25 year old man. I think there's something wrong with you up there, cause it's like this nigga's 25. Like, at your age, it's like, nigga, I'm ready to go to yeah, the next level. Wanna... You're not even in the middle level yet. <clears throat> Versus a man. But let's just say you are in that that level. But it could be there, the same there's, way, there's, 
there's young men that are actually very smart. They're beyond That's their what years. I'm saying, yeah. But I just won't feel comfortable because then it looks like I'm taking advantage of you. Yeah. But why? And I don't want to look like I'm taking advantage of anybody. Too. Right? It can be. But for a woman, um, it looks it looks worse. Crazy. It looks worse for for a woman. Cause it's like I, this, I'm right? speaking for myself. At your age, right? Let's say you was dating a 25 year old. There's gonna be some times where he's gonna act 25. That's gonna be cringy for you. Versus a man could deal with that more. Like, all right, she's she's 25. I want my man to check me. Like, I want I want I want to be like, all right, babe. I'm sorry. You do? I am not going to tell a little 25 year old, I'm sorry. I'm going to bop you over your head and be like, nigga, shut the fuck up and you sit down. Though? Yeah. Because I feel like you do that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You get it. You, Stop need, it. you need to pipe the fuck down a little. Um, See, you should be doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I know how you are. No, no, no. But sometimes you need to stop doing this. No, and do more this. You need to stop doing this and just zip. on this episode of a masculine from him podcast. <laughs> nah, but for real, see a nigga, it, it doesn't look weird when you got a younger woman. She start acting young. He's like, all right, but as a woman to see a man act like that, it's crazy. Like, bro, you dead ass. Yeah. But then you ask yourself, like, am I dead ass? Fuck, am I? What am I doing? I'm bugging. I'm bugging. <laughs> yeah, I'm going home. You go home too. <laughs> exactly, and what? And as an older woman, what can a young nigga really teach you? Versus an older man can teach a younger woman stuff, and she could probably teach him some things too. She could teach him like the new music that come out. Shit, that's it. I'm she could slap te- him. she could teach him <laughs> what clubs is lit. All right, <laughs> we love y'all. This is the end of episode 76. 76. 76, baby, the remix. And-